everyone welcome back i hope everyone's having a blessed day today so today i'm going to be making hamburger steaks and gravy and i know some people serve it with mashed potatoes but i'm going to be serving mine with french fries and i'm going to put gravy over the hamburger steak and the fries so for that we're going to need three heaping tablespoons of flour one garlic clove one medium to a large onion I have one and a half pounds of ground beef. This is the 80-20. One egg, one beef bouillon cube, one teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of pepper, two tablespoons of kitchen bouquet browning seasoning, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of minced onion, and a fourth cup of bread crumbs. So I'm gonna mix my stuff up in my meat and we're gonna put this to the side that's for the thickening of the gravy. And I'll be back to show you. Okay, so as you can see, I'm cooking mine in a cast iron skillet, but if you don't have one, you can use whatever pan you have on hand. And I have it on a medium heat, and I'm just going to let it cook through on one side, then flip them, cook the rest of the way, and then I'm going to take them out the pan and start my gravy. Alright, I'll be back and show you the rest. Okay, so I've left the hamburger steaks brown on both sides. No, they're not completely done, but I'm gonna put them back in the gravy and let them finish cooking. Okay, so I drained off all the grease about, except for about three tablespoons of it. And I just added my onions and my garlic. And I'm gonna let the onions start to get a little bit soft. And then I'm gonna add the flour. And kind of make like a roux with all this stuff on the bottom. This good stuff right here. And that's gonna help make our gravy as well. Okay, so I've added my flour and about four cups of water. And I believe earlier when I said you needed to use the chicken, I mean the kitchen bouquet. You needed two tablespoons. I meant two teaspoons. So I put two teaspoons of the chicken bouquet in this. And now I'm just going to let it simmer for about 30 to 40 minutes and then it'll be ready. Alright y'all, this is the hamburger steak and gravy. And like I said, some people serve it with mashed potatoes, but my mom always served it with fries. And she would put the gravy over the fries as well. And she'd also put a piece of bread underneath it. Alright, I hope y'all give it a try. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I'll see you next video. Bye!